So this question is a translate word problem question. We know that just by the sheer length of the question itself. So I'm going to read this question one sentence at a time and make sure I understand what I read prior to moving on to the next sentence. So the first sentence here says a model estimates that at the end of each year from 2015 to 2020, the number of squirrels in a population was 150% more than the number of squirrels in the population at the end of the previous year. I think that makes sense. That's just saying that at 2015, at the end of 2015, we're going to have some value for the population. I'll call it P. And then by the time we get to the end of 2016, one year later, we should be 1.5 P, which is basically like saying 150% of P. Okay. And so on and so forth. We go to 20, all the way down to 2020. The next sentence says the model estimates that at the end of 2016, there were 180 squirrels in a population. Okay, so I'm going to erase what I put here because now we have real numbers. I still don't know what it was for 2015, but for 2016, the number of squirrels were 180. Next sentence. Which of the following equations represents this model where n is the estimated number of squirrels in a population? So we know these, at least for 2016, would all be 180s, right? So 180, I'm going to just do this for my own sanity here. So I know I want n to be 180 for the year 2016. Um, in the population t years after the end of 2015. Oh, okay. Well, that means in 2016, t would equal 1, right? We're one year after the end of 2015. So when t equals 1, I want my n to be 180. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just plug this in. So I'm going to replace this t with 1 and ask myself, or just plug in my calculator, is it true that 72 times 1.5 to the first power is 180. So let's type that into your calculator. And what I'm getting is that that's equal to 108. So that is not true, right? I want it to be 180. 180 does not equal 108. How about choice B? Is it true that when I replace T with 1, that 2.5 to the first power is just 2.5, and then 72 times 2.5, oh, in my calculator, that actually is 180. So B must be the correct answer here. If we look at choices C and D, we can see that it's obviously not those. If I put a 1 here, I already have 180 for both of these, right? And I'm multiplying both of them by an additional number. So no chance that those are both, that either of them are 180. So C is gone as, as well as D. So choice B is our best answer here.